It's similar to any bath salts, but just on a, another level, bougie vibes. This is the first expensive perfume that I owned, that I bought, and I loved. Check, check, check everything that I need in a foundation. The Estee Lauder is just a little better, just a buzz. She was like, I'm just going to just quickly show you, boop, why are you spending so much more? Hello, I hope everyone's doing well. So it's Sunday today and I'll probably be uploading this video on a Sunday. So happy Sunday to you all. I'm hoping that the week ahead brings a lot of blessings, a lot of opportunity and everything good, you know. So as you may have read by the title, today, 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 I'm going to be sharing a current favorites with you guys. I haven't done one of these in a very long time and so I thought today we're going to make it happen before we get into the video I'd like to welcome all of you guys who are returning to my channel welcome welcome and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here thanks so much for stopping by I'd like to ask thank you firstly for stopping by and watching this video I'd also like to ask that you please hit that subscribe button this also goes to those of you who continue continue to come back to my channel but have not subscribed yet Hunty, please do the right thing. Please, the most nice. Anyhow, without rambling too much, let's get straight into the video. So, before we get into the video, I thought I'd just mention this. I'm going to, I believe, I'll be able to find a link for all of these items that I'm about to show you guys. So I'm definitely going to leave a link to all of the items in the description bar below. If there's anything along the lines of like sizing that you guys would like to know, which I'm certain I will mention, but if you would like to know just pop the question down in the comment section below i do know now that i've just thought i do know that there's one item which i might not be able to link just because i got the item sometime towards the end of last year so i highly doubt that you'd be able to find it you might be able to find something similar but i don't know if you'd be able to find the exact item in stock so like i said without rambling too much let's get straight into the video the first on my list is the elizabeth arden the original eight hour cream this is a skin protectant and can i just mention one thing this hand lasts forever i got this a around april this year and so i mean we're already in december and i still have more than enough i think it's gonna last me until maybe feb march of next year I love the stuff. Can I just mention, I love it. When I initially got it, I didn't really like the scent, but I think over time you end up not even smelling it. And so I just want to read something at the back, just so you guys know. This legendary skincare classic works wonders to moisturize and protect anytime, anywhere you choose. To shape your brows, revitalize skin, soothe dry hands and smooth cuticles and nails. It also treats symptoms of chapping, peeling or flaking due to minor burn, sunburn, wind burn, scrapes, abrasions or cracked lips. I don't know if this is like amazing. The dry skin people will be able to tell us whether this is amazing. But it works for me. It works amazing for me. If at some point I've forgotten to pack my hand cream into my bag, this works wonders because I can literally just use this on my hands, on my elbows. If I'm shooting outdoors with my brother and I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot. It's not that I forgot. Let's just say my elbows are just looking a little, just a little crusty. I just go in with a bit of this and I must mention a little goes a long way. So like I said, I just go in with a bit and I just, you know, fix up the elbows and I'm good to go. And so as you guys just heard, as I read, you can use it for so many other things and I just feel like this is worth every penny. I think it goes for 355 Rand. I don't go anywhere without this. This stays in my handbag. I actually want to get another one for my car because the one that's currently sitting in my car is the Clarence Lip Gloss and it's really amazing. It's oil based so it just makes your lips feel so amazing and it's scented. It has the most beautiful scent. But I just feel like I need one of these for my car. And like I said, I don't go anywhere without it. So love, love, love. So next up is the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Perfume. This is my go-to summer fragrance. It's just such a classic summer scent. Definitely, definitely 100% elegant lady vibes. I remember the first time I saw this, I smelt it on my auntie. So whenever I smell it, whenever I use it, I always think of her. 
and at the time I was much younger I didn't like it as much but as I grew I think when I was around like 18 19 I was like I actually love the scent so so much this is the first expensive perfume that I owned that I bought and I loved like I said it's just so classic so timeless elegant lady vibes I mean as much as it is ideal for summer it's also something that you can use all throughout the year I just want to quickly tell you guys what all the notes are in this perfume so top notes are Cerulean cedar apple bluebell and then the hot notes are bamboo, jasmine, and white rose. And then the base notes are citron, wood, amber, and musk. So if you're looking for something that has these notes, you're going to definitely, definitely love this. And I specifically got myself the size just because it's something that I specifically use during summer. So I think if I were to get a bigger size, it would probably would make more sense. But I got the size just because it works perfectly for just popping into the handbag i am that hand that carries everything in my bag you can literally depend on me for anything there's just a lot that i carry in my bag and all of them are essentials you know <laughs> so next up is the hamish hydrogel eye patch and this contains bulgarian rose water that's what it looks like so it contains 60 pieces which is essentially 30 pairs of eye patches and I definitely goes for say 300 and something and I definitely feel like it's worth it because like I said it contains let me just show you guys so amazing I just want to show you what it looks like if you can see I hope you can see that's what it looks like and I mean smells amazing works amazing and it's described as a pick-me-up before makeup for tired eyes and it does just that these things are life-changing i mean i obviously don't just use it on days when my eyes are looking tired i also use it on days when i'm doing my self-care it does everything that your under eye area is going to need for hydration so if you do suffer from like wrinkles under the eyes if you do especially around winter months this will work amazing and just like hydrating this area if you do apply a lot of powder under the eye area this is also going to be exactly what you will need to just counteract the wrinkles the tiredness the dehydration under the eye area love 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 and next up this is actually one of my favorite products and when i like something I will reserve it for special occasions and I just feel like I should stop doing that but I literally reserve it for those days where I'm not feeling my best self if I'm not feeling okay I'm gonna do something something big something small just to make me feel better and so self-care is definitely one of those things and this is something that I'm probably supposed to be doing all the time but I specifically only use this product when I'm like I need to feel expensive I need to feel like silk literally silk and smell like i came from i don't know help me can't find the words <laughs> so the product that i'm talking about is the kate and sunly rose body polish this is a 450 gram and as you guys can see i'll probably just be able to use it once and then it's going to be done and uh, guys i need to get myself like another one of these and not use it so sparingly just because it's amazing so I got this I think I don't know why I feel like I've mentioned this to you guys at some point but if I have not mentioned this before no man I mentioned it in one of my videos if I have mentioned it I'm mentioning it to you again because I just love it so much Tabo one of my work colleagues bought this for me he's also become a friend of mine he bought this for my bridal shower this a candle um, a bunch of other stuff and this is one of my favorite items it smells amazing literally if you're going to get into the shower into the bath you apply this your body's going to linger the entire day from the smell your body's literally going to feel like silk do you know what silk feels like do you know what silky smooth skin feels like if you don't know I recommend you get this so you know what it feels like because baby once you experience it you are never going to be able to live without it so love 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 and then it also comes with these rose coconut milk 
bath soak so these are bath salts it smells just as amazing it's similar to any bath salts but just on a, another level bougie vibes rich auntie vibes is exactly what i am about you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah if you're looking for self-care items um i am your girl <laughs> ask me i shall help you i'm here to serve you like i always say <laughs> Yeah, to plug you. <laughs> so yeah, love, love both of them. And so the next item that I'm going to be showing you guys are foundations. You guys, as much as I love makeup, if you were to ask me to just choose one product that you love, 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 I love, 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 foundation. And so the foundation that's just been screaming my name that I've really been loving this year, you guys know that the Maybelline Superstay has been my go-to girl for the longest time. Since I tried out the foundation, I've just loved it. And so, a foundation that I've just been loving so much is the Catrice Skin Hydrating Foundation. It contains hyaluron acid and it's a long wearing foundation. Check, check, check everything that I need in a foundation. It contains hydrating elements, which is hyaluron acid. It's long wearing. And what else did they say? It gives you a skin like finish. True to every single claim. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's also a medium to full coverage foundation. So I don't know, like what more do you want? What more do you want in the foundation? No, I'm asking, I'm just asking. <laughs> From the drugstore, you guys know that I love affordable stuff. I love anything that's easy accessible. And so I'm here to plug you. If you have not heard or seen of this foundation, this is why I'm here, to plug you. <laughs> So I've been really, really, really enjoying this foundation so much. And I also want to show you guys another foundation. It's a foundation that I've also been using for a while. I only started using the Catrice foundation this year. And this foundation I started using so about two years and I've loved it so much. Do you understand? I love it so much. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation contains SPF of 10. So Similar to this foundation, it claims to be a matte foundation, but for me, me personally, on my skin, it doesn't look matte. Um, long wearing, babes, touch up for who? For what? Why, ma'am? Why? <laughs> Love that it's long wearing. Also, skin like finish, much like the Catrice foundation. Um, medium to full coverage foundation. So, what more do you want? Everything that you want in a foundation. The Estee Lauder is just a little better, just a bit. She was like, I'm just going to just quickly show you boom, why are you spending so much more. So there's like say about a 400 and price difference between the two. Um, I just feel like babes, if you're watching this babes, babes, just give us a pump. We're not asking for a lot, just give us a boom, 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 a pump. Then we'll be happy, 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 happy. And I know that a majority of people who wear this foundation are generally mature people. And so I'm just assuming they probably don't try out a lot of different foundations. And so they are probably happy. You can't really compare it to anything else. So you're okay with the foundation. But I'm speaking for us who try out a bunch of different foundations. Can you just give us a pump? And please don't tell me you guys sell the pump separately because I can't be spending 3 million. 3 million on a foundation and not have a pump. So please again, I'm asking for all of us, all of us hands who love Estee Lauder, please give us a pump. We're not asking for a lot. So if I'm not wearing sneakers, I'm wearing loafers. So I got these loafers sometime. Why do I also feel like I've shown you guys these loafers? <laughs> I will be so embarrassed if I go onto my YouTube and I'm like, but you told them you like this, babes. Why are you doing this again? <laughs> But my thing is, if I like something, I really like it. So if I like it, I'm going to tell you. And I'll tell you over and over and over and over again. Like I was saying, if I'm not wearing sneakers, I'm wearing loafers. And these loafers have been my... I guess I'm just being reminded again, just because I wasn't wearing them for a good four months. And I took them out recently again. And I was like, hello, babes. How you doing, babes? So I got these from H&M. And this is a size 38 love them love the color love the fabric snake print kind of vibes i bought this a year ago more or less the same time last year and so i don't know if you'll be able to get the same pair but if you're looking for loafers cotton on always has really nice loafers really really nice loafers and let me just plug you guys v 
very quickly. In the East Rand, by the K90, directly opposite the K90, there's a sensor called the Palms sensor, I think. In that sensor, there's a cotton on. Majority of the stuff, not all of it, majority of the stuff in that store, I actually haven't been there in a while. Majority of the stuff in there has been discounted. That's where you can go if you're looking for discounted items from Cotton On. I told you, I told, don't say it and tell you, don't say that. So last on my list, and definitely not least, um, are these jeans. These are cropped high-waisted jeans from Cotton On. I bought this from Superblist, and this is a size US 6. Number one, this hun is stretchy, so it just, it just gets, once it gets onto your body, it's just like, it just wants to hold you and hug you, you know? So, what I love about this jeans is it lifts my bum. So, my bum just looks so nice. <laughs> so, what the jeans does, it just goes bloop. It gives a little bloop at the end, literally. I actually want to try this on. Just to show you guys, like, I actually want to show you guys a side by side when I'm wearing two different jeans. When I first put this jean on, I was like, what? I think the shape of my bum used to look the way it looks when I put on these jeans. So every time I put it on, I'm just like, this is the vibe you used to be. And now you're just a basic me. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I know most of us don't like wearing jeans during summer because... Why? Just, I mean, jeans are a lot, but I wear jeans to work. So, I just feel like this is very functional. It makes sense for summer, just because the fabric is quite lightweight. It's similar to jeggings, but it's not jeggings, which I like. Stretchy, like I said, it's cropped. It is also high-waisted. Like I said, I'm gonna list this in the description bar below. Anyhow, anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know, because we're all about plugging one another on this platform. So if there's anything that I mentioned that might be similar, that you just want to be like, babes, have you heard about this? Please tell us in the comment section below so we can make it a family thing, you know. Plug one another, you know. Anyhow, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for showing me love. Thank you for continually coming back. I really appreciate it. Okay, bye babes.